Now about the future of Houston's third ward. Crime and other problems have leaders in third ward working towards solutions that will also help maintain the area's cultural identity. Channel 2's Andy Sirota joining us live from Third Ward where community leaders talked about the issues earlier today. Andy? Bill, the Martin Luther King Jr. Center here in Third Ward is one of the oldest MLK centers in the country. And this place has been here for, as you can see, 50 years they're celebrating right here. But many local leaders here believe that this community, this place is in peril. Houston's third war, the one constant in this historically African-American neighborhood, has been changed. And some say it has come with a hefty price. Neighborhood leaders fear a lack of opportunity, high unemployment, and crime are jeopardizing the very fabric of this community. We want this area to be revitalized, but we don't want the people who have lived here to be pushed out to change the character of and culture of this uh, particular area. Today, community leaders brainstormed and pledged to pool their resources, not only to revitalize, but to get the Houston community to reinvest in Third Ward while protecting the integrity and identity of the neighborhood. They're taking a multi-prong approach toward solving the problems that have been plaguing this area for years. Whether it be housing, whether it be job training, whether it be able to empower citizens to be able to do more to shape, reshape their community. They believe bringing those resources and opportunities back will instill a sense of hope in the young people who often feel hopeless and set the tone for a brighter, more robust future. These young 14 and 15 year old boys need to be trained to do something other than to pull, a, uh, pull out a gun. And we intend to do that. We're not talking about planning, we're talking about doing. So the ultimate goal here is to create a community that is sustainable and safe for everyone. Live in Third Ward tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Andy.